All right, so I'm coming to you right now from my mother's basement. Don't say it. I know how lame that sounds. I would be recording this in my mother's kitchen, which is somehow cooler. But mom's a nurse, she needs her sleep, and the kitchen's right below her bedroom. And I'm trying to mitigate my uh, audio pollution. Noise pollution? Moving on. So I'm not really addressing this to anyone, and it's not going to be particularly funny or thoughtful. I guess that presumes that the previous five were funny or thoughtful. Um, but yeah. So yes, here I am, not addressing this to anyone, I'm just kind of talking, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the format that I've selected, which is this Dear Person X thing, which I'm not quite sure I'm going to continue. And I'm not quite sure if I addressed this in my video to my father, but the reason I selected this format was because of the old show, which I love very much, called M.A.S.H. My favorite episodes by far of M.A.S.H. were the episodes where Hawkeye was writing to his father. It gave those episodes a really great character, and it connected the show to the audience in a rather intimate way, I have to say. Hawkeye's dad was completely removed from everything that was going on at the 4077th MASH, but he was inherently interested in what Hawkeye had to say about those events, just by virtue of Hawkeye being his son. That implied relationship between Hawkeye and his father is what made those episodes great, even though Hawkeye was the only one who ever showed up on screen, and you never even read Hawkeye's father's letters directly, um, you knew that there was some sort of relationship, some fundamental relationship going on there. So that absolutely fundamental father-son relationship um, implied something very, very large in those episodes of M.A.S.H. But I could never write a brilliant episode of M.A.S.H., and not even the brilliant writers who wrote brilliant episodes of M.A.S.H. Um, held on to the Dear Dad episodes to the exclusion of all others. Besides, I'm in a completely different situation from Hawkeye. I mean, Hawkeye was in war-torn Korea and his father was in Maine. But right now, where I am, as opposed to where my father or anyone else in my audience is, is not a fundamental enough difference to make a compelling foil. And like I just mentioned, I'm not just sending these to my father. I'm sending them to my mother, I've sent one to my brother, I've sent one to several friends. Um, and I haven't exactly exhausted the list of people who I could send vlogs to, but this format is actually a little bit restrictive. I mean, I've thought of a few things that I'd like to vlog about, like to talk about, um, and I've thought, hmm, who can I address these to? And the same four names come up every time, and the only reason that those four names keep coming up every time is because those are the four people with whom I can talk about anything. My friend Zach makes fun of me, because every so often I'll come up to him and I'll say, Zach? I've been thinking about, and it could be anything, a short list of things that it has been. Operation Plowshare, Somaliland, General Elphinstone, Sigmund Jan, and Kessler Syndrome. And that is the farthest thing from an exhaustive list. So I think I'm going to stop clinging to this Dear Person X format. Because, let's be honest, if I don't, every second vlog is going to be either Dear Dad, Dear Zach, Dear David, or Dear Brian. And not that I don't like those people, in fact, I like those people a whole lot. But the times I would be most likely to invoke their names are the times when I should probably just not be addressing anyone at all and just talking, because those are the things that I'm thinking about. As an aside, I think that's why those four relationships are so important to me, is because I can just talk about literally anything, no matter what the subject, no matter if they have expertise in that area or not. Those are people who let me talk. Thank you so much. You are martyrs, every one of you. And that's all I've got to say right now. Hopefully I can edit it down to five minutes or less. Thanks to those 10 people who have subscribed. And thanks to those people who have encouraged me on Facebook. It actually means a whole lot. I hope that this vlogging thing can grow into something that each of you can enjoy, and all of my friends and family can enjoy, and even strangers can enjoy. Uh, and I hope it can become something that I'm really proud of as well. And that's it for me. Yep, it's my mom's basement, complete with embarrassing portraits. High school. My brother, I have no idea when. Isn't he a cutie? And this one from an age long past. Me. My brother. Aww. Yes! Even though I had to cut a section about filial piety as it relates to Confucianism.